what's up youtube welcome to the video so topic for today is how to use dapper and dapper is an object relational mapper for dotnet and it means that it will make the communication between object oriented language like c sharp and databases easier for us so without wasting any time let us begin so for this example we will be using ASP.NET Core Web API and let's just name it Dapper Web API .NET 8 Now for starters uh, let us close this and delete these garbage Now let us install two packages which are the first one is dapper so this one apply and the second one is microsoft dot data so microsoft dot data dot sql client so this is a, a replacement uh, for previously used uh, system.data.sql client so we need only these two packages now so let us create a database new query create database dapper db and let's use this database and create a table so there will be this users table and now we need the server explorer so for that go inside view and you you will find the server explorer either here or in the other windows down here so server explorer and we need a new connection and the server name which we will get from here and then the username and password check this and this is optional now the name of the database which is dapper db click ok and we have this connection you can create and uh, select tables directly from here so we need the uh, properties and here we have the connection string now come inside app settings and we will define connection string as a string and we need to change the password with the actual password so now we will create a new controller which will be named user controller now inside this we will first define our route because our swagger api will trouble if we don't define the routes controller whatever the name of the controller is and after that we need uh, the constructor of the controller and this is for the reason that we need to get the connection string so i am gonna define a property which is gonna be a string and it will be named connection and let's make this property private so inside this constructor we will take i configuration which will get us the app settings and this is injected default inside the program.cs so we don't have to inject it by ourselves so 
connection the connection property equals to config dot get value the value is in the form of string and it is named as connection string so this is how we get the uh, connection string from the app settings and now let let us test this uh, connection string that it's getting our value so for that we need to define route so whatever this is just for testing and let's just start the application and hit it so this initializes our controller and we we can see that we have our connection string so it's working fine now for this method this will be a http post method and it will be named create so let's make the method name same as well and what we will do inside this is we will create a user but for that we need models so come inside the solution explorer and we create a new folder models and inside this i will create a model create user and i will create separate models for separate endpoints so this method will have so we will use these models for uh, as dto so data transfer objects so now i will use the create user class we need to first write the sql so it will be insert into users values and it will start from username password and email and uh, we we have another thing which is the last login so we will keep it empty because we are creating a new user and it will not have a last login yet so we will keep it null so these are our values and these uh, parameters should match what we have named the properties here so after writing the sql we will be uh, using var db and here we will initialize a new sql connection which will take our connection and we will just use db dot execute method from the dapper which will take the sql and the user object so we don't need to pass any parameters it will open the connection add all the parameters that are required from this object then automatically closes the connection so it will do all of these things for us we can return status code convert dot to in 32 http status code dot ok and we can also pass the information of the newly created user so i will use a anonymous object with a property user and pass this user so this is how we insert data using the dapper I will copy and paste this and this time we are creating the get method which will get us all the users so get all users and this will take nothing and we will select star from users and for this we need a new model 
last login so now users equals to db dot query so when when we need to retrieve multiple record we use the query method and this for this we need to specify that we are retrieving the records as user so these will be a list of user so we can retrieve users dot to list change the type to list of user and this time we are not retrieving the status code we are just retrie retrieving the list of users for the create and delete method they are also very easy let's use the put this time so update we will allow update the password the email of the user and we will be needing the IDs to know that which user to update so update user and everything will be uh, will remain the same we will just change the query so this is how we will gonna update the user so we are allowing these two values to be updated so everything else will remain the same and this time we will just show a message success now the delete method and this time we don't need a model we will just use end user id and delete users and here we need to define uh, an object because this works on the basis of object so we don't have a user object we will create a new anonymous object user id and this time we are not defining the uh, property name so it will name the property with with the variable name so this is it this is the delete method now let us uh, test these methods so you can see that the swagger api has uh, mapped all of the endpoint beautifully so we will create a user a b c d execute so the user is created So we have created some users. Now let us get all of the user. So execute and we have the list of users where last login is null. So user number three, we are updating the password to zxc123 and we are updating the email as well. So execute it's saying that there is execute and you can see that there is this success message if I execute and get my users you can see that the password and email is uh, the email is updated and the password will not show because of the security reasons now let us delete the user number 4 so success you can see that now we only have 
three users so all of our methods are working so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time